So I've switched golf balls probably twice in my competitive career. I used the Pro V1, Pro V1X from when it came out in early 2000 until 2012. My first few years on tour, Pro V1X. 2012, I switched to TaylorMade's five-piece ball, and I've been using that ball ever since. Whatever it's been called, all the little tweaks they've made to it, that's the golf ball I've been using since 2012. In my hand, I have the three player balls from Encore. This video is not sponsored by Encore. They sent me these balls to do whatever you want with them. I wanna test them out. I've tried a few different balls this year just to kind of have some fun with it, but I've heard a lot of great things about these. So I'm gonna test these golf balls out and see if it's uh, worth switching. This is gonna be like a three-part series because if you're wanting to change your golf ball, you need to put it through some rigorous testing. So part one, be short game. I'm gonna mess around on the putting green and the chipping green with these three balls. Try to see which one I think is the most high performing for me. Part number two will be out on the golf course. Gonna hit some shots, get the data on on Mevo, that'll probably be in the next week or two. And then part number three, we're gonna play and see if I can break 70 with the golf ball that I've you know picked out of these three. So I'm testing out the Elixir, the Vero X1, and the Vero X2, with, which just came out. Basically, when it comes to putting, there's not much other than how it feels off the putter face that I'm going off of. Yeah, the alignment aids are cool. The line, nice on the Elixir, Vero X1 and X2. I like that too. I generally look at the white part of the ball anyways on longer putts. If, if I'm inside 10, 12 feet, then I'll put the line down. But I'm just going on feel. How does it feel off the face? So this is the X2. I mean, it feels good. X1. They all they all feel good. None of them feel too firm or too soft. I hate a ball that feels too soft to putt with. They all feel very, very good. So I don't think I could uh, confidently pick a favorite out of these three balls. The elixir feels harder to the touch in the hand, but on the putter face, it uh, might even feel the softest. Let's hit some chip shots. Kind of get the feel for it around the green. I'd like to hit shots with all of my wedges, high, low, medium. What I'm looking for, yes, is what it feels like, but does it react the way I want it to react based on memory, based on reference to the golf ball that I've been using for a decade? Is this thing going to do what I expect it to do um, when it hits the green or with the release? So we'll start with a 56 here, X2. So now this is the elixir. That feels a little firmer off the face, but still uh, reacting the way I expected it to. All three of them kind of did the exact same thing. The elixir just felt a little firmer. I'm trying to put a little more spin on these ones. Same shot, just trying to get a little more nip out of it. Ooh, that was the X1, did exactly what I wanted. That first bounce was a little more checky, popped it up a little bit, but still released. Man, <laughs> those, are, those are good, those feel really good. Okay, let's go 60, let's get some fun. Tight lie, we'll do a little low runner with it, but some nip. This is the X1. Okay, that did exactly what I expected it to do. So did that. Huh, <laughs> these are, this is really impressive. Okay, now let's get some air underneath it. Trying to land it closer to the hole and stop off a tight lie. Ooh, that landed really soft. So this is the elixir. Man, those are landing great, holy cow. I'm, I'm impressed. I was expecting the elixir to kind of have more chase, but it, it really isn't. Okay, so I've come back a little bit into like a little chip pitch. So this is something that I want to, with the 60, carry, you see the kind of discoloration? I probably want to carry it right around that or just past that and let it stop quickly. So this is X2. This is elixir. 
that's what I was expecting. That little firmer as you get a little further from the green, a little more chase out of it. I clanked that a hair off the toe, but that should spin more with high toe. That thing had a little bit more release. That thing did exactly what I wanted. Now I want to try to hit that shot with the 56. Drive it in with a little more spin, mid height. And I know you may be saying to yourself, like, Andrew, this is cool and all, but what hat are you wearing? See that thing caught it a little clunky, chased a little bit more. If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you've been noticing, I've been wearing the same hat for about two years. See, these are releasing a little bit. Switched it up with this style. They're melon hats. I freaking love them. They float, they're moisture wicking antimicrobial so they don't stink they're very easy to clean and they look dope on the course off the course date night mobbing around with jude yeah i'm trying to get more spin on these and they're just not quite spinning well melon has officially come on as a sponsor of the channel and i couldn't be more happy because i've been wearing the hats for two years and now they want to get behind the videos i'm making that one felt really good. Had a lot of spin. Loved that one. And Melon wants to hook up Team AJ. It's very rare that they give out discounts, but because you are a loyal viewer of the channel and you appreciate good style and a good hat, if you use the code Team AJ, you're gonna get 20% off your Melon hats. Oh, and your hands, see that little guy right there? He keeps the hat from getting dirty under the brim when you adjust it because it's just, it's just well thought out. So Team AJ, use that code, 20% off a melon hat, and let's keep looking stylish and making birdies. So that shot there, it was the X2 that performed kind of the best. It nipped the way I wanted it to on that last little run. So now let's get the 60 and let's go high with it and see just how, you know, soft it can land. Ooh. Yeah, that landed super soft. I caught it a little duddy. Not, not far enough, but that was the X2, and that landed awesome. Dude, these spin really well with the 60 degree when you're putting some spin on it at the bottom. Caught that a little thin, but a little bit more release. Man, these feel so good with the 60 degree. Keeping the 60 in hand, let's hit 30 yard, 35 yarder. These are ones that you need to control what it's doing when it hits the green. A very important shot in golf. I want this golf ball doing exactly what I expect it to do if I execute. So this is the X1. Pretty good shot. This is the elixir. Honestly, like it's not like any of these are bad. I would say the X2 is slightly my forerunner right now based on those 56 degree kind of mid height pitches. So this is the X2 here. Caught it a little thin, will it spin? Yeah, it will. That's a, uh... yeah, I like that. Let's do it again. One thing to add. I've been hitting some nippers oh, really? and uh... these all seem quite durable. Elixir. Definitely seems like it's the most durable. It does feel the hardest. X2 seems the softest, but no real like considerable damage or anything like that. X1, same, same. You know, you do the steep chunk and run, it works. <laughs> yeah, these feel really good. I'm, 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 I'm impressed, I'm very impressed. I'm excited to see what it does on the golf course. A little further, still releasing exactly how I would expect it to. I flew that one a little far, but let's jump into the bunker and see just kind of what kind of spin we can get. And then I think that's it. A downhill lie. We got to land this. We got to get this up. We got to land it with some spin. So let's see uh, if these things continue to do what they've been doing everywhere else around the group. So X1. So like I'm gonna be playing a lot of release, obviously, with the down slope, but that thing did exactly what I expected and wanted, so X2.
man. Said it a couple times, I'll say it again. I'm, I'm really impressed with these around the green. I, I really, really am. Little pulley. Yeah, the elect Elixir seems to be the one that has the least amount of spin for me around the green. So a shot like that, we're not gonna get any kind of saving from it. So as we get ready for part two, where I'm gonna get out on the golf course, hit wedges, drivers, get some numbers, but also just see if it flies how I want it to fly with different shots. I would say X2 is my front runner, X1 and then Elixir. But if Elixir performs the best on the golf course, I'd be, I'd be okay playing that ball. Obviously, I think I would like X2 to perform the best out on the golf course because I feel like it's performing the best for me around the greens. But if X1 performs the best, I'm pretty comfortable using any of these balls if the numbers out there, if the flights are exactly what I want from them. So here's Elixir. Then that thing spun like crazy. So that's actually good. If I played that wet bunker shot, fly it with some spin, Elixir did it. Try to fly these things closer to the hole. Yeah, that's brilliant. That was X1. Here's X2. Fly them a little closer to the hole. Man, so just a quick refresher what to look for if you're testing out a new golf ball. Around the greens, you just want it to feel good off the putter face, off the clubs, off the wedges but you want it to do what you expect it to do on the ground, spin and release one. A little heavier there, a lot more release. Did exactly what I should, it should have done, a little heavy. It's gonna run down that hill. Whoa! Four! <laughs> uh, yeah, stay tuned for part two where we're gonna get on the golf course and see how uh, these three perform out there. Peace!